Can you believe it? We've reached the solstice, the longest day of the year in the Northern Hemisphere. Where is time going? So three weeks ago, I was like, thank God it's June. Because May was hardcore, right? That, that eclipse portal where the nodes were changing and we were really wrapping up the karmic lessons of the past 18 months. And we know what's been going on really the past two years. So it was a lot to clear. But when we reached June, June was supposed to be a, an amazing month, an easy month. But really, I think we're in the squeeze right now. I don't think we got it easy for a while. Now with June being a three universal month, it was supposed to be exciting, wasn't it? Birthing the new, expansion into the new territory, right? Moving forward in life. Finally, after months where it just seems like all we've been doing is clearing, we're finally able this month to move forward. So why does it feel like we never did? Well, we've been in the squeeze. So know that there's kind of two ways to transform. The three universal month, meaning that one plus one together equals three, right? It's birthing that divine inner child, that opening of the heart. That three universal month was supposed to be easy, wasn't it? Unfortunately, instead of the, you know, flow of everyone opening up their hearts and things just flowing perfectly, the birthing beginning. Well, in order to get to that level, we have been in the squeeze. It's because in order to transform, things can happen, right, the easy way, or it can happen the hard way. So if you've been being rocked, if you've been being squeezed to the point of no return, if things are just kind of breaking out of your life and falling away, and you feel like you're kind of in that tumble cycle of the dryer. Know that that is okay because we, the solstice is gonna give us that jolt into the new. Now, all month long we've been experiencing, right, massive solar flux, massive purging. We've had a super full moon. So it just seems like there's been non-stop. Now that is needed in order to clear the decks for your life for your physical body, for your everything, for your soul. So again, we can transform the easy way. Or most of the time, a lot of us, right, we don't quite want to let go until the new is clearly in place. So we kind of walk around holding baggage of the old. We know it's no longer aligned. We know it's not what we want, but we're not quite willing or ready until our universe says too bad for us right so a lot of time like I said things will just fall out of your life and that's because also when we are changing timelines you will just all of a sudden experience where things are different maybe things are working themselves out without you having to do a lot of work or if you have been listening or you're living a life or maybe you are brand new on your journey just know that there's a lot to wrap to wrap up right all of us created lives that were not in alignment with our true soul's nature with our true life purpose so we've been in the squeeze because that is the only way for us to move forward also we do a lot of clearing for the collective so the more embodied you are even if you are living your best life, we do also clear a lot from the grids. So just know that the clearing is taking place in order for you to be so aligned into your core because you have birthed the new. The new, your new life, comes from within. And you start to realize that by taking that action. Right? We don't wait for anybody out there. We're never waiting for the White Hats. We're never waiting because of some um, astrological transit that says, oh, well, yeah, we can't do that yet because of this. Because this is squaring this, or this is in retrograde. 
Maybe our tarot cards have said, yeah, not the best time for this. No, we are clearing ourselves of all that and knowing that you are creating your own reality, only you, in every now moment. The only moment is now. Trust me, it, right? it's a hard lesson to learn because we like to kind of blame outside situations or people or things or that or this, but we have to realize that we are all creating our own reality, period. We actually all live in our own reality vortex. Think of it like a bubble. Now, when we embody, we become the whole bubble, right? The whole unified field. But just know that we are always creating our own reality. We can't blame anybody else for our creation. So if things are not working, it's you have to dig deep. You have to ask yourself and ask spirit, right? Go with the meditation. Go into nature. Talk to yourself. Talk to your higher selves. Find out why is, you know, why do I keep recreating the same issue? Why is this problem coming again? I thought I healed this. Now, last week, my ascension symptoms were unbearable. I just couldn't keep up with the amount of grid work and gate work. It was backlogged. I, I was literally being suffocated from the inside out, and I was just so done. I was frustrated. I was like, spirit, universe, God, source, what is going on? Why can I keep up with this amount of grid work? And of course, right, we're in it. We are in it, of course, right? The world is about to get even crazier. Um, the next six months are gonna be hardcore, um, which is why we are being pushed right now to clear. And again, if you are holding the, holding the grids within your own um, embodiment, then you get to be the one that helps to right, serve humanity, serve the planet by clearing a lot of this through your vortex. So again, um, I will explain that more in a grid working video. Um, if you guys want that, let me know in the comments. But I was at the point where I was just, right, I work all day long. It seems like day and night right now. I'm exhausted and I was just so frustrated. Like why do I have so many blockages and, and I can't just have these things, right? Because a lot of times I will clear full out beings, soul parts, um, right, like a lot of the nasties through my vortex into higher frequencies, into higher timelines. Because when you become embodied, you become all dimensions all at once. So you become the literal channel, the vortex that things can clear out of. So um, that's called cycle pumping. Um, like I said, there's many different words for it. But if you guys want to know more about that, let me know in the comments and I'll explain it in detail with some diagrams um, if you think that you're going through this. But I was just at the point where I was at, at my breaking point, right? I feel like I, I'm in service to humanity and this planet 24 seven, I need a break. And so the message was, I need a candidus cleanse. Now I actually didn't realize that um, the person I'm living with had a tick bite recently that was really inflaming my own system. So because we take on the grids and the traumas um, and the patterns of others, when they got the, this tick bite, I started having right the same symptoms of kind of toxic overload. Um, I started craving more sugar, things like that. So. The message was Candida's cleanse. And literally, just a couple days into it right now, I'm already feeling like I can clear so much quicker my energy. So just know that, right, we're never victims to ascension symptoms. We're never victims to the life we created. Once you take back your, your, your power, once you really radically say, you know what, I'm going to stop blaming my wife, my husband, my kids, my boss, this and that, and you take back everything back within yourself. That's power. That's big. We're not meant to play small right now. You are meant to play big, which means taking that big step forward in your life, making that 
big change that you've been putting off, right? Like, uh, like I said, a lot of us don't really want to make that change because it feels like everything's leaving. Everything's going out of our life, but nothing's coming in. But it's because we're heading through the eye of the solstice needle. This portal, have you been feeling it the last couple of days? There's a massive shift. It's feeling lighter, it's feeling brighter. It feels like we're finally getting caught up. Again, the candidus cleanse is probably really helping me just clear the decks very quickly. So I've been experiencing what seems like a shift finally after so many months of heaviness. How are you guys feeling? Let me know in the comments. Because again, if, if you're not in a place where you're feeling good, go deep, right? Take back that radical responsibility because that is going to make all the difference, right? You know, it's very easy for us to blame everything else. But when you start realizing that you created this, you can also recreate something different. It's all about you. So we are not meant to play small right now. We're not waiting for anybody. We're not waiting for X, Y, and Z out there in the outer scape. We are birthing new earth from within each of us by becoming our highest versions, embodying our highest versions, living from that highest perspective, right? Taking action from that, being our greatest version of self, which is again, why we've been in it, why we've been clearing so much, because a lot of these lower aspects of us, right, Th these part of us, they like to play a victim, or they like to be angry, or right, they're, they're full of toxins that like to keep you in maybe an addiction. They can't come with us to the new. So if you've been really just feeling that squeeze right now, know that you're gonna get that relief. But make sure you're following through with what you're being guided. And if you feel like everything's just crashing out, out around you, Step one, make sure you tune out of everybody else's stuff, right? We are the new earth leaders. If you're watching this video, 100%, you came here to be a leader. You didn't come here to be, you know, thrown around in the chaos of everyone else's scattered energy. You, need, you came here to be that clarity for others. It all starts from within. So... Check out my other videos if you have no idea what I'm talking about because I, I go into a lot of different things. But know that your role right now is to play big. Nobody else is gonna do it for you, right? We have to be willing to be the ones to, to take care of us right now, right? You take care of yourself first, then you're able to take care of others. This time of the year is Gemini season. That is the amplification of the polarity, the extreme duality playing out. It's up to us when things get intense to unify that, to merge those polarities. That's what then brings you back to center. That's what brings you back to zero point. That's what gets you the power, right? When you're playing out in that duality game, that is what divides you, right? Divides society, divides people. That is where you lose your power. To gain your power, it's about merging these extreme forces in your life by being in the exact center where you can then have that energy to create something new, right? When we're able to integrate the polarity, we can move into a higher creation into a higher dimension, into a higher timeline. So if you're still playing the same games, right? I mean, I mean if you feel like, like it's the same problem all the time, do something different, okay? I mean, if you keep doing the same thing over and over, how do you expect anything new to be created? You need to stop yourself in, the tr in your tracks and you need to now change your thoughts, change your energy, change your emotion, change your action, go deep, what can you do to change your life right now? Because the world needs you. Now, if you're ready to get activated, I have a free solstice meditation and DNA activation coming up here. I'll be posting it shortly. Make sure you guys do that. 
please, in the next 48 hours or so. But you can do this anytime because I'm recording this during the solstice to get the amplified amount of energy. It will activate your you from within and allow you to also shine that, that new blueprint in the world. So please help to activate new earth in the outside world as well. So you can do this meditation anytime you want because it will continue to clear away anything that is no longer serving you. It will continue to activate your DNA to the highest level and allow you to, right, to overflow this light, these intentions into the entire planet to allow others to also activate. Please share and like, and don't forget to comment what you guys have been going through. It really helps others to know that they are not alone. And don't forget to subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you're notified when I make new videos, and check in on that solstice, powerful DNA meditation and activation coming up next on Earth 1111. Thanks so much, I'm Roxanne, bye-bye.